everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I briefly introduced Ziggy in my last video. He's right here, our newest rabbit, but I didn't really do a proper introductory video of him. It was kind of just like a brief, oh look, we have a new rabbit sort of thing. So I thought I would kind of take the time to properly introduce him, tell you a bit about his background, how we ended up with him and kind of the situation now um, with the whole sort of bonding thing, how that all went. So Ziggy is a two-year-old male rabbit and I found a advert on the Gumtree website. It was actually quite a short time after we'd lost Benji. I was just kind of keeping a lookout generally since I Basically, I guess the way I see it is if I sort of, if one of our animals passes, it's kind of, you know, as hard as it is to go through the experience, it's kind of freeing up space to rehome another. I kind of see it that way and it kind of helps me, I guess, kind of move on from it and, you know, put my attention elsewhere. Just everything about it felt right. The fact that he was a lone male and he uh, was being rehomed for the exact same reasons as Benji was as well and it all just kind of felt right. Um, also the fact that he was very close and to have a single neutered male available for adoption around here is pretty few and far between. Um, obviously they do come up now and again but it's, it's not the most common thing to find really. Um, so yeah, he was basically just being rehomed due to allergies. Um, they very much did love him and, you know, were really quite emotional to let him go, similar to with um, Benji's previous owners, like it, you know. But before he came to them, he was actually, um, the, the owners did seem to suggest that he'd been used for breeding, kept in like a very small cramped cage in a shed with lots of other rabbits and, um, kind of suggesting that it was probably used for breeding in that so he's probably not had the best start but certainly in his last home he was very well loved and cared for but he had been sort of living as a single rabbit there so obviously I wasn't entirely sure how he was going to take to any of the others so I'd brought him back to my place and had him sort of living indoors in as like a house rabbit for just short of a week and Actually, it was just probably probably just like nearly a week after having him that everything that happened with Ola that kind of changed things a bit because with Enya having lost her sister and she became very withdrawn. She actually went up to the top level of the shed, which she would never ever do. She'd never been up there before and she just sat there for probably a whole day and just didn't really do much. I think she was grieving quite a lot. Here she is. Oh bless her. So yeah, she was she was grieving quite a lot from the loss of her sister, even though they were living as a group. Um, and I've never really seen that before within a group of animals. I think normally when one passes, certainly with the guinea pigs, I've noticed they don't really react as such unless it's just like a pair and they lose their only partner. Sometimes the dynamics change quite a lot, especially if it's like a higher ranking animal and that can really shift things up but because Enya had always been with Ola, her sister, they you know spent their whole lives together since they were born and um, being sisters, they really did have that very close attachment, they were very very close sisters and um, it really affected Enya actually um, so actually I think it was 
pretty shortly after I decided to take her back with me to my place and to bring them indoors together um, and just see how that would go. I wasn't really intending to do it this way but I was worried about Enya being on her own because she was grieving a lot and they can go a little bit withdrawn and kind of closed off from the others when they're feeling like that which isn't really good for them so I thought maybe a new companion will be good for her because Piper and Bigwig are like the swan couple and if there's three rabbits you know that other rabbit is always going to get left out with Piper and Bigwig because they are soulmates basically um, so yeah I tried to um, introduce them together which actually went so so well because Enya is very submissive and um, Ziggy did take to her very well obviously in the beginning there was quite a lot of dominant behaviour um, certainly him trying to hump her for a good while But that calmed down after probably a day or so, it, it got less and less. So that worked pretty well, they they took to each other fairly well. They weren't cuddling straight away, they certainly weren't like um, completely best friends from day one, but as the weeks have gone on they've become closer and closer. So then I kind of intended to just keep them as house rabbits for a little while, see how that went, but um, I ended up having to bond them with the other rabbits sooner than expected. I had a problem with my car, I was having to stay here again. But basically, yeah that happened so I brought the rabbits back with me, even though I'm like here every day. But um, but yeah, because I couldn't travel between the two places anymore, I just figured rather than having them house rabbits, I would have to bring them here and let's just try and bond them all together because ultimately that's what I wanted to do I was going to try and build up my rabbit herd again it's as good a time as any time really so let's go for it um, so I did I put them all together in a neutral territory and it was quite a difficult bonding it was kind of like obviously all the typical behaviors you would expect especially with the group bonding there's a lot of personalities to kind of gel together and it's very quite like a difficult process um, trying to sort of separate yourself from it but also make sure nothing gets out of hand so obviously yeah, there was the chasing um, there was quite a lot of 
sort of aggression and dominance in general. Um, not so much with like Bigwig, who is the other male. He didn't really bother with him too much. He just kept out of the way and Enya was already bonded with him, of course, so there wasn't any conflict there. But the biggest struggle here was to bond um, Piper and Ziggy because Piper is like the highest ranking female. She's a very dominant rabbit and anytime there's like a newcomer, um, she's the one who's basically going to be the deciding factor as to if it's going to work because the others are very sort of submissive and accepting but she's kind of the one who ultimately will determine you know their place in the hierarchy I suppose um, which at first this wasn't too much of an issue because a newcomer is naturally going to be more sort of um, submissive and a little bit withdrawn they're kind of in an unfamiliar environment so naturally they're probably not going to um, straight away go for that kind of top role in the group so yeah initially there was I think he was more sort of fighting back out of fear and defending himself because Piper um, did seem to be trying to attack him quite a lot so certainly within in the first week or so he was really keeping out her way and she was chasing him a lot sort of a lot of fur pulling that kind of thing so he was very wary of her but given a week or so the kind of the situation here kind of flipped because he started to feel more comfortable in his environment to the point where he was no longer sort of afraid and he was kind of then starting to test Piper for this top role so he was kind of trying to you know find his place properly and he was sort of challenging her for the top position in the group. Now generally with with this like you will get um, quite a lot of aggression and dominant behaviour until eventually one of them sort of decides to back down and give in um, and let the other rabbit be the boss. However in this situation it was a little bit different because neither was really willing to give up their place. So that yeah there was a lot of sort of chasing, a lot of hair pulling, there was you know, fur coming out, left, right and centre basically, um, it did kind of escalate a lot more but the strange thing about all this was that it would be, they would be absolutely fine for several days and then another one of these sort of heated sort of conflicts would flare up out of nowhere. You would kind of expect it to just continue and for the, not to be able to resolve it at all but it was weird because they would be fine for days and then all of a sudden they would, out of nowhere, have this weird conflict again. Um, so we kind of just were trying to sort of take a step back and let them sort it out because ultimately once I separate them that's that and I want to give it the best chance I can. Um, obviously I personally believe it's better for them to be in a group and have that more natural social interaction. I really try to persist with this until the aggression, it kind of just continued. There was no sign of it improving at all really. But it got to the point more so where Piper was actually becoming very withdrawn, which is very unusual for her. Um, she was completely not herself and she'd really sort of taken herself away from the others and that wasn't like her at all. I was getting quite worried for her welfare, whether or not she was... You buy you my t-shirt? And um, <laughs> she's, you're pushing poops off the shelf now. He'd actually bitten Piper a fair few times and he'd also scratched her in the face and that was the point where I was like enough's enough, I'm not going to risk them getting hurt anymore, it's just not worth it, you know, I've tried to persist and, you know, let them try and sort out this hierarchy and generally the dominance and sort of, you know, aggressive behaviour generally does calm down once they've figured out each other's place in the group, but these two just seem to clash they, neither of them was really happy to give their place up as the top boss rabbit if you like um, and ultimately I thought, you know, considering the welfare of them all 
the best thing to do would be to have two separate pairs. At the end of the day, Piper and Bigwig are complete soulmates, and Ziggy and Enya seem to be really good pals now anyway, so... I had to basically separate them into two pairs, which is not ideal. Um, so we've got Piper and Bigwig up here at the minute and I'm trying to just get them out on the grass sort of for daily exercise. Ziggy and Enya have more space, they've got like all the floor space because they're way more active and they're very young rabbits. The Piper and Bigwig like generally aren't very active because they are quite elderly now so I've just got them up here and yeah, like I say trying to get them out for the daily exercise which seems to be working at the minute it's just kind of the arrangement I've had to come up with but yeah it's it's not been easy to be honest it's been quite a quite a challenging introduction um, but I feel like we've given it a good go and sort of decided enough's enough they're obviously not right for each other in this group setting and they're not going to be happy living together hence why they're now living as two separate pairs but yeah um, overall like uh, Ziggy he is such a character really is his name actually kind of stems from the fact he has multicolored eyes and see if you can get the reference there with Ziggy um, so yeah he's he's such a sweetheart really I mean yeah, he he has had the conflict with Piper and all that, but he's he's such a character. He's he was always bouncing everywhere. He's so full of energy, so excitable. And it's probably the fact that he's such a young rabbit as well that he's just got all this excitable energy and he's he's just like so enthusiastic all the time. He's, he, but he is such a sweetheart, he really is. And yeah, he's got these like lovely blue and brown eyes. Um <laughs> he kinda has a look of Eeyore. Um, I always found that he just kind of has this sort of look about him. But yeah, him and Enya are really close. They, they're just great together and it's been so nice for Enya to have a proper partner now. And they're just sat cuddling right now which and she's grooming his head. It's just lovely to see that she's happy again and he's happy because he's not had a companion, you know, in his previous home. So... It's, it's nice for him to have at least that social interaction. He's completely transformed from when we've got him and he's just like, yeah, such a character now and very much like, like I say, just completely hyper and excitable about everything. So yeah, that's his story really, how we ended up getting him and kind of the whole process of the bonding kind of just goes to show not everything works out and sometimes you kind of have to you know adapt things because things don't always go to plan but yeah I hope you've enjoyed getting to know him a bit better and I'm sure we'll have um, plenty more clips of him when he gets even more settled so yeah thank you for watching